because we're going to try and get out. There we go. Finally, we can escape at 11 a.m. Hey, yo, in the distant future. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for a boy. Can you help me find him? Are you having fun yet? Yes, I am. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, us FNAF fans at the moment. Oh, we're eating good. Nice. This just looks so perfect and so delicious. Oh, um, yummy. Give me more steel wool, daddy. Probably shouldn't have said that. But with the FNAF at Freddy's Security Breach DLC confirmed, it actually leaves us with more questions than answers. I let you say that thanks to this brand new teaser image, I actually went back to the original Security Breach game. And I found something really interesting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Science with Papa Raz. This series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. And there's still so much left to uncover. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, let's just take a quick second. Let's just take a quick second to appreciate the difference between what you are seeing right before your very eyes right now and what you see now before your beautiful googly eyes. It's like night and day. It's literally like the sun and the moon animatronic. It is completely polar opposites. You've got this bright, colorful area that Steel Wool have given us and we know and we love. And now we're about to get the horror, the true darkness, the despair of the DLC. 2023 cannot come soon enough. Today's first exciting myth of the day is by the fantastic Tony Hardy. He still hasn't worn his Vanny costume. 10,000 beautiful likes on this video and I will dress up as Vanny for the DLC. When it releases, when Ruin drops, I will do the first episode dressed up as Vanny and and Scott will watch the video and Steel will and they'll think I'm an idiot. <laughs> The first real exciting myth of the day is by the fantastic Emmy K. If you go to the Lost and Found and call Freddy before you get told off by Vanessa, can you glitch through? Will you find Vanny or anything to do with her? So as you can see, we're right back at the start of the game. We've done absolutely nothing. We've just come to the main entrance when the door shut on us and Freddy's like, oh no, sad boy, you're gonna have to hang around with Glam Daddy for the rest of the six hours. And by the way, you might want to stick around because I've actually found a way to escape out of these doors before they close. Guys, if you're hyped for another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Myth video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live, then tomorrow you'll get another Myths video. And the myths I'm looking for in particular are myths to do with the FNAF Ruin DLC. Now that we've been given the teaser image, we can go back to Security Breach and see if we've got some clues or some hints as to what might happen in the DLC. So give me some myths, give me some theories, give me some experiments to do with the teaser image. And to celebrate the massive, massive news of the DLC being announced, I'm going to be giving away some more copies of FNAF Security Breach. Woohoo! So, if you would like to be in with a chance to win one of those copies I'm giving away, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now, the comment could be anything. Go ahead and tell me who your favorite animatronic is. Go ahead and tell me when you joined the FNAF fandom. Tell me your favorite game, or give me a myth, theory, or experiment to do with our FNAF Security Breach series. So, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck. Oh yeah, and 10,000 likes and I'll dress up as Vanny or something. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing if we get a different ending for that. But in the meantime, we need to get into the lost and found. And the easiest way to do that is to uh, call my big old glam daddy. Where are you, handsome? There he is. Look how beautiful. Are you going to come through this one? This one? Okay, so this door's technically open. We can't get through. Can I Can I just break through here? Oh, I can glitch through. That means Chica's not here to try and get us. I'll call Glam Daddy through, and there we go. Okay, so we glitch through the first section. Easy. Done. Dusted. Now, we just want to go this way, don't we? Okay, I think that might be us into the office. Maybe. Oh, I can hear the servers. Hey, we're in. Ah! And it skips us straight to 2 a.m., baby! Okay, now, we're in Glam Daddy. We are in Glam Daddy. We're permanently stuck in Glam Daddy. Crazy! Hey, well, that's a little sus. I've just noticed Glam Daddy's face is on that chair, so anytime somebody sits on them, they're actually just sitting on Glam Daddy. Crazy. Okay, so Vanny should be coming down here just now. But technically, 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 nothing's gonna happen, really? Because I'm, I'm just in Glam Daddy, right? She can't come and get me. Oh, there she is. So we've triggered Vanessa right at the start of the game. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Hopefully she won't actually come and get us. I don't think she should be able to. Hey, she's waving at us! Hey, baby! You are my favorite of the female protagonists in Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm just gonna go pa- Why am I getting out? No, no! Back in Glam Daddy! Back in Glam Daddy! Let me in Glam Daddy! Well, it looks like I wasn't allowed back inside Glam Daddy. Get some help. Oh, baby, I'm having so much fun. Okay, Glam Daddy, come save your boy. Where's he coming from? 
Which entrance? Glam Daddy, you better be quick. Glam Daddy, there he is. There we go. Oh, we can't even get out here. Glam Daddy, come here. Come here. That's it. That's it. You just... Oh, no, I wasn't supposed to get in you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's, let's just, let's just stay here. Okay, okay, okay. So she should be blocking the entrance off, right? Let's, can I quickly grab this? She's gonna come in, right? And I'm gonna get stuck. She's gonna get me, she's gonna get me, she's gonna get me, she's gonna get me, quick! Ah! Jiminy Christmas, okay. So where did she go? Where did she go? Hey, oh, Freddy, where did Vanny go? Oh. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? She's just skipping around. Hey, oh, my girl looks beautiful, though. That's what I want for the DLC, by the way. If you watch my theory videos on what we were talking about with the DLC when it was revealed, that's what I want. I want Vanny to be, or, or somebody equivalent to v Vanny, to be skipping around non-stop, just a constant threat. Look at her, she must know I'm here! Watch it, Everly does now! Oh, Chica does. Well, there we go, Freddy, my boy. That's what happens when you hack into the Lost and Found office too early. It just spawns the next part of the story. But Vanny doesn't try and come and get us. But I'm pretty certain the reason I did this myth was because it actually leads us on to the next myth. The next exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Witch Angel. And they say, is it possible to bring Vanny slash Vanessa to her own room to get any kind of dialogue out of her? If not, is it possible to bring Vanny into Afton's room? Okay, so first... Freddy, this is gonna be very difficult, this one. Okay, Freddy, my boy, we gotta be very, very careful. Because we need Vanny to chase us, but at the same time not actually get us. So how are we gonna do this? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Jiminy Christmas. Hey, yo, Vanny, you got that oversized cake. Uh, Vanny, you good? Or oh, neck just snapped. Hey, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. She following, right? Yes, yes, yo, 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 yo. She's coming, Freddy, 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 she's coming. Right. Ah! ah! She got in the elevator! Why would you do that? That's my elevator! Ooh. Right, can we just sneak past her here? She's like right there. <laughs> she's just gonna go up there. Okay, I can't even see what I'm doing. Let's just go. See you later, Vanessa. You wanna come in the elevator, baby girl? Nope, nope. Ah! Quick, 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 quick. Okay, I shut the door. I shut the door. These are hands. Hey, yo, Freddy. <sighs> She tried to fist her way in, buddy. I'm not sure I like that. Phrasing! Sam's like, off! Oh. Hi. Please take this map. Take a map. Well, it's good to see you again, Matt, but totally forgot about you. Probably because I erased you from my mind because you're so terrible. In fact, while we're on the subject, do you know what the best ending in FNAF Security Breach is? This one! I'm not taking the map. Go away. Go away. Stop. I'm not taking the map. No, go. Stop it. Oh! I still hear her! Ah! Ah! Freddy, 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 Freddy! 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 Oh, my gentle Freddy, 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 where is he? There's... Oh! Freddy, you're on the wrong side of the thing! Sneak away! Freddy, 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 you're on the wrong side, Freddy! Come over, Freddy! The bad boss, follow me, Freddy! Freddy... Freddy, this is turning into my worst nightmare. I can hear Vanessa. Are you kidding me? Fre Freddy, are you kidding me? Freddy! Oh, this is the worst. This is actually the worst. Freddy! She's still coming. Are you kidding me? I don't have a flashlight. I don't have anything to stun her. Cry in the corner. I love how we completely and utterly evaded Matt Bot. That is amazing. <laughs> hey, Freddy, want to absolutely break this game? <laughs> Hold up! You are. Hold up! So Wait! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> I've totally broken the game! Entering your mother? Hey, what did you just say? There's something not right here. One of you is the sussy imposter. Your mother? Don't worry, Freddy. I will save you. I will save you by getting inside of you. Together, Freddy and I will save Freddy. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Freddy. Just gonna open my package right in front of you. Hope you don't mind. Hey, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Right, right. We need to strategically place you, Freddy, 
on this vent here. <laughs> so Freddy's gonna save Freddy and myself. Ayo, the lag has gone crazy. Ayo, the lag has gone crazy because Freddy shouldn't be in here. <laughs> but I get um, Freddy, I think we've got a problem here, a very big problem. You're not appearing on any of the cameras, so that would suggest that it's because you're already here, right? Wait, why is this door open? What is going on? That door shouldn't be- None of these doors should be open! Because that means technically she would be here! Wait, what? <laughs> Completely broke the game! So what we were supposed to do in the previous myth was to try and get Vanny to go back to her room so she could have some sort of dialogue of us being in there and she's like, why are you in my room? Stop sniffing my bed sheets. Okay, which we didn't quite manage to do because she seems to just stop chasing you when you get in the elevator and that, that makes complete sense because that's just the way these things go. That was the end of the storyline or the script. However, I've got a little idea. Okay, now to do this, I'm gonna have to work a little bit of math. Magic. Ten hours later. Okay, finally, we're here, Glam Daddy. Right, so we're back in Phaser Blast, and behind this door, that's where we're supposed to go to try and escape from Vanny, and that's where we go up to her room to try and free her from the Princess Quest minigame. So let's have a quick look through the map to see if she, she should still be around somewhere. I don't know if she's still here. Let's go behind this door. Because then that means we should be in the staircase behind. Okay, here we go. No, I haven't actually been in. <laughs> Did I hear Vanny? I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna escape. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps now. Now I've never really looked in here properly before, because you're meant to just run through here as Vanessa's chasing or <laughs> Vanny's chasing you. I feel like I can hear Vanny. Do I hear her? I don't know. Got a coffee machine there somewhere to hide. Again, this is just to make sure Vanny doesn't get you. What we got? Oh, it's a very dark... Oh, we got these boys! No, oh, I didn't want to have to deal with those boys! Let's just be careful. Don't get caught by the boys. Don't get caught by the boys. But we never really look in here. So this is like another server room? So what have they got in here? This just looks like a massive server room. With loads of like, these are just terminals, aren't they? Ooh, ooh. quickly evade, evade him. So, is there any clues to anything? Oh, that boy just stared straight at me. Hey, handsome. Let's go through here because this is where you're normally getting chased, and and and, and you don't want to hang about. So we may as well go through here. Just hide here. He can't get us, right? Ah! Oh my lord, he can get us. It's fine. Nobody's gonna. I don't think anybody's gonna come get us though, right? So again, this is where we come and normally Monty's just lying here on the floor half a man that he used to be we've got the machine here can we just pop that on that's that's very violent that is very outrageous son of moon oh huh can you hear me i can freddy okay Okay, okay, my boys. Do we do that? Do we just go ahead and do it? <laughs> Freddy, my boy! Wow, why have you got an upgrade on your fists? I didn't do that. Did you go and end game bond to yourself? You savage. You want to come and see Vanny's room? I don't think you've ever been in it, have you? Do you want to come and check it out? It's a great Freddy, place. That rabbit lady's in a secret room about the Bazaar Blast. What? It looks like a hideout. What, what do you think of. I think her name is. Vanny? <laughs> Vanny. It is very similar to Vanessa. And also Bunny. That cannot be a coincidence. Genius. Genius level intellect over there from Freddy. Thank you very much, Glam Daddy. Wait, what? I hear her! Oh, for goosebumps. The goosebumps have kicked in. She followed. She actually followed us all the way here? Freddy, I hear her. Freddy! Now, nah, there, there ain't no way she followed us all the way here. There ain't no way. My heart's beating faster. <laughs> We're getting closer. So she's gotta be... Huh? Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Hey, oh, Freddy, she didn't come in the end, so uh, should we just wipe her out? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> wow! 
The bunny rabbits pop through. She's like, hold on a second, kid. Don't go in there. Tee hee hee. Don't be sniffing my bed sheets. Oh, I'm sorry you caught me, Vanessa. I swear I was just changing the bed. Disassemble Vanny. I love this. I absolutely. This is a savage ending. This is the brutal ending we wanted to see. Because she gets wrecked. She gets absolutely endgamed. Oh, Freddy! Freddy gets absolutely destroyed. G Gregory, you are my superstar. Nah, I forgot about that. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for that. My, uh, my facial hair is standing on end. And the sad music just keeps playing. And why did I do this ending? And it was a very good myth as well. Van Vanny was definitely chasing us, but she couldn't quite find where we went. So we endgame during the end. I waited around for about half an hour. She just didn't appear. Occasionally, I would hear the music of her trying to appear, but she couldn't quite locate us. But she does chase you. So maybe, maybe somebody out there can do it for me. And if you find the result, record it and let me know. So what I want to do is I want to go to the exit straight away immediately before the doors close. Nope. Hey, girl, you do you. You do you, boo. Hey, oh, chica. I forgot she tries to do this, doesn't she? Hey, yo, stop. Chica, chill, girl, chill. Just, 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 just stop, baby girl. <laughs> it's just Monty banging on the door. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Monty, you beautiful son of a... Anyway, did you notice what I noticed there? Right, okay. Turn around. We want to get back inside Freddy. And we need to do the beautiful glitch. The best glitch in the game. Let's just go past Monty real quick. That's not what I wanted to do. Did she can fall down here with us? Jiminy cr- Oh my lord, why, why are we down here? Did we just fell through- Did we fall through that hole there? What's happening here? Now, Glam Daddy, let's do this properly this time, buddy, please. Okay, so let's go, go around this way. And we don't want Chica to see us. We don't want Chica to see us, because what we want to do is glitch through this wall before she eats the trash. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're looking for- Yes, we're looking for- Please let it work this time. Please let it work this time. Please let it work this- This is it! Yes! Okay, so we're by Lost and Found. Perfect! We've managed to glitch our way through. Now! Okay, Freddy, we gotta get out your tum-tum real quick. You gotta get out your tum-tum. We gotta open this door. Hopefully everything is gonna work properly. Now we just gotta avoid this bad boy. Let's just go around the long way. Yes, there we go! Come back soon! It's open! There we go. The shutters haven't been shut off yet. Now, if I remember correctly, it's when we get into the vicinity of the comeback soon. That's when we get the issue. So, we just need to get through here from this angle, right? Freddy, I need you, my boy. Time to glitch through that tum-tum. Let's go. So, we just got to get the... There we go. Just a little bit. Don't want to fall through the floor. Don't want to fall through the floor. Come on. Come on. Load back in, please get this done properly, please! Because I think we're gonna get something awesome. Oh. Just make sure we're not inside anything. There we go! Oh, oh, grab your exotic butter and popcorn, baby! Because we're gonna try and get out. There we go! Finally! We can escape at 11 a.m. By going around the long way, by going around the long way, we don't actually trigger the scene in which the shutters come down, and now we can just walk out. Let's go, baby! Okay, so this is the ending that we normally get for doing absolutely nothing. It's a moonlit sky. Gregory's escaped. He is running like a bat out of hell. He's crying. He's like, oh my lord, Faz Daddy didn't save him, didn't do anything, but there's terrible chemical smoke coming from a pipe. Don't know if there's a stylistic point of view, but here we go. Later on that day, or later on, Gregory is huddled into a newspaper because he's, he's homeless. He's sleeping on the streets. We don't know how much time is between him escaping or this, but the way they suggested later, it meant it was the same day. Everything's turned red, and good old Vanny comes back and captures little old Gwegawee. Little old Gwegawee, here he is. One star ending. So this is the worst ending you can get. But the reason we went back to do it this way is because one, I wanted to see if we could get a different ending by exiting before anything happened. We literally solved nothing. We basically knew nothing. We got out before the shutters even did it. So perhaps we're gonna get a little secret ending at the very end after all the credits. But second vault, I think this ending might be potentially the canon ending to FNAF Security Breach. Now, there's a little bit of debate whether the this ending or the Princess Quest minigame um, 
ending is the, the, the canon ending. I think so far it has been universally accepted that the Princess Quest minigame where you free Vanessa, everybody goes home, everybody's happy, is the canon ending. Now, that doesn't explain why in the DLC tra uh, the teaser image for Ruin, Gregory is there. Does that mean Gregory's needing help because he went back there to finish off Afton? Because Vanessa obviously said, by the way, people Afton, I, I started reviving him in the basement, like deep in the basement, so we might have to go and deal with that. So yeah, that could be one reason why Gregory is needing help because he got captured when they went back. The the second reason could be that it's this ending. This ending right here is the canon in which Gregory escaped, he solved absolutely nothing. Vanessa, or Vanny, went, hunted him down, found him on the street and was like, come here little man, you're coming back to the pizza plex with me. So, which ending is the canon? Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. But, in my opinion, either of them works. The better ending, in my opinion, would probably be the princess quest one, now that I think about it, because you helped Vanny, you freed Vanessa from Afton's grip, and then Gregory's gone back to finish off Afton. Because they kind of have to, they can't just leave Afton there, can they? So as a duo, Vanessa, Gregory, technically a triple, because Freddy would have gone back there as well, went back there to destroy Afton once and for all. Hopefully they used some sort of, they poured water on him, because fire clearly doesn't work. However, let's see what happens at the end of this. As always, your thoughts and theories are very much appreciated down in the comment section below, so if you have anything, let me know what they are, and we'll... Hey, what? This is new. Hey, yo, in the distant future. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for a boy. Can you help me find him? Hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. Oh, Glam Daddy looked ruined. Oh, so that's what happens when we leave Glam Daddy. I think his eyes were purple. What is his eyes purple? Has he been taken over by Afton? Oh, there's just so many theories. There's just so many thoughts and theories going around in my mind. Poor Glam Daddy was left to rot in that place all because Gregory was selfish. Gregory was selfish and he just left without solving anything. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that was another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Myths video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live, then tomorrow you'll get another Myths video. We might do it on Poppy Playtime. We might do some more FNAF. But as I said before, if you want to give me more myths to do with the FNAF DLC or some theories. We'll, we'll see what we can find in Security Breach. And now that we've seen the teaser for the DLC, is there any evidence that points towards what's going to happen in the DLC in the base game of Security Breach? There's got to be some more hints in there that we haven't found yet. And now we know what kind of direction to look in because of the teaser image. I think we can find some more, so get racking your brains. And to celebrate the release of the FNAF DLC, I'm going to be giving away some more copies of FNAF Security Breach. So if you'd like to enter a chance to win one of the copies I'm going to be giving away, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Go ahead and give me a myth, or just tell me your favorite FNAF animatronic. Either of them will do. But either way, run over my face just now, there's going to be another couple of videos I know you'll enjoy. Click on one of them bad boys. I'll see you over there. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out to Lazy Debbie for giving us that alternative ending. Please go and check them out over on Twitter. They are so talented and they have created so many beautiful pieces of artwork and pieces of lore and to do with the DLC already. So please go and support them and uh, a link will be down in the description for them. I'm Raspberry. You've been the beautiful Raspberry as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.